A sunk cost is a cost that is unavoidable, and because we cannot avoid that cost, it, it isn't relevant for economic decision making. So consider a project that takes two years to complete. We estimate the benefits from the project will be $1 million, and the cost will be $750,000. So it's going to be a beneficial project. So in the middle of 2010, suppose that we spent $500,000 dollars on this project. Then at the end of the year we reevaluate and in this reevaluation of the project we discover that the benefit still is one million dollars but that the costs are 1.2 million dollars in total. The question is do we proceed to finish the project? The project has no value if we just stop right now and we can't recover these five hundred thousand dollars in costs. These five hundred thousand dollars in costs are sunk costs and the relevant benefits and costs to weigh at this reevaluation stage are the ones proceeding forward to the end of the project. The benefit will increase by $1 million going from 2011 to 2012, and the cost will increase by $700,000. And so the benefits will actually increase by more than the cost. Now notice if we could have anticipated in 2010 that the cost would have overrun like this, we would have never undertaken the project because the costs of the project were greater than the benefits of the project. But once we've sunk the 500000 in the first year, we're starting in the hole $500,000. We're getting no benefit at this point, and so we're starting with a loss of $500,000. It's much better if we could recover some of those losses by completing the project and only losing $200,000, and that's actually what ends up happening here. So you can see that the role of sunk costs in this example is, uh, is really prominent, and that the timing of, of costs and whether they're relevant for weighing the benefits and costs going forward is really what matters in economic decision making.